code is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and I'd like to call the meeting to order and ask Commissioner Jones to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, America. And, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and, justice and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, a review of the last meeting's minutes, and I believe uh, Commissioner Jones did them, and I went through them, and someone used uh, spell check and grammar check perfectly. <laughs> Whomever that might have been, I hey, literally- I think, they, I think they just got the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> but literally um i went through it and the, the the notes were good even down to the whoever um took them thank you commissioner uh noting the minutes when we um did things down to the minute i'm surprised we didn't have a stopwatch on it so uh i've read them through and found them to be as accurate as you could possibly make them. So I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 2021 meeting. I would be happy to move that. And Carrie, I will send them to you if you didn't get them. I thought I sent them to the full fire commission you may have, but my my town email is is not working, so I'm not getting anything. Okay, sent to I'll town. send them to you at the Access Intel. Okay, and and then I'll send them. You didn't send them to Christine Brown or Town Clerk. Or I, I did send them to all as draft minutes, but once I send them to you, you could take the draft part off perfect. and send them to them as the approved minutes, if you would. Great, great, Thanks. perfect. Thank you. All right, all good. Um, Chief, it's time for your report for the uh, for the past month. I everyone should have a copy of it, or hopefully you do. And uh, Chief, go ahead. Anything in particular we need to know for the month uh, of December? Just want to put the uh, you know the communications. Uh, in my absence, thanks uh, AC Kimes for the the work he did through the uptick of COVID. Um, it, uh, it, we had a lot of positive cases uh, during that Christmas week, uh, and him as a, the assistant chief and emergency manager kind of managed that very well. Um, so kind of took the helm on that. And, um, you know, he wanted to put a shout out to the volunteers who stepped up on short notice um, for the distribution, the pickup and distribution of uh, COVID tests uh, to the town departments. So that under communications um i just want to throw that out there as far as incidents uh the one notable one was a uh, almost fire there was some property damage uh in uh, indian waters uh road so that was um uh, the fire marshal can mention property damage in his report uh otherwise new firefighters started we've been doing the onboarding process uh, we were using an acquired structure um, to do some of his basic training after he came out of recruit school, which was firefighter Isaacs. So we were working on that. Uh, our fleet status, a um, couple of high notes. We, we were down a few engines, a few, three rigs actually, uh, over the last few weeks. Um, so we have some um, maintenance work that one engine's engine seven's out of service for an extended period because of turbocharger. Uh, engine one was just involved in an accident on the ice um, last week. So that was down for a little bit. That's been, that's uh, back in service. Uh, the ladder's under um, repair and it's out of town right now. My car was damaged in the ice storm uh, also. So that was a fun morning. Um, the, as I mentioned for major events, the biggest thing was the, uh, the multiple positive cases we were able to manage with this, the career staffing 
Uh, we watched uh, our numbers. We had some mutual aid. Uh, we had talks with mutual aid uh, during those positive cases if we did go below minimum staffing, but there was no issues uh, through that week, you know, and everybody um, came back uh, safely to work. Uh, otherwise, uh, the only other note to report is our um, budget. We're at 44 uh, percent. Everything seems to be going well. We're going to have some uh, capital. I got I'm going over the capital now for the rescue and our uh, alerting system um, that we may have to uh, go for some extra money and transfers. So that's the only uh, budget item that we uh, need to look at in the future. And otherwise I'm presenting, we'll be presenting to the Board of Selectmen on the, the 25th of this month for the uh, first, uh, first round of the budget. So I think those are the highlights of the Chief's report. Um, Chief, uh, if I may ask, are we going to make any of the, any physical repairs to engine one or to your vehicle? Yes, both of them will be, well, I'm assuming both of them will be fixed. Uh, we're waiting on uh, quotes on both of them and to see how we're going to proceed. Um, both of them are operational, but definitely right. uh, long term, we need to make those repairs. Uh, we just got to get the uh, the price on the engine. It's probably going to be pretty expensive on uh, on damaging that bumper. But no um, no operational damage was done. It looks like the bumper took it all and the and a little bit of the cab. No, I I, I saw it myself, and uh, you know. It, it, as you said, it's operational and we should be covered by KERMA as I understand it. Yeah, this might hit the deductible. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that we're pretty lucky in this town. So anyway, thank you for your report and Fire Marshal Payne. Can we, I ask a quick question? Yes, first? please, please go ahead, Commissioner. Do you know yet if your budget meeting will be Zoom or in person at Town Hall? Currently, the one on the 25th is scheduled for in person. Uh, I believe Town Hall has only requested these first two weeks to have a uh, virtual meeting. So we're assuming it's going to be in person during the day. Would, would you like just some moral support there? I'd be happy to go and just- Sure, we can- uh, Although I'm not sure how popular I am with our first selectman right now. <laughs> we can talk I about it. Better not to. We'll, we'll discuss it. Okay. Well, well, well Com Commissioner Jones, uh, you are a former selectman, and I think we would all appreciate your not only presence, but wisdom, if you will. And there are more than, there's more than one selectman. Uh, well, and it's easier if you are at the selectmen's presentation and hear what they're talking about, then it's easier to lobby the board of finance and town council members um, in the direction we need them to go. So, so I would be happy to attend. Good. And I, I've, I'm, it's also on my calendar, so I will be there. Uh, okay. Anything else for the chief? Not at this time, unless you have questions. All right, next up, Fire Marshal Payne. Good evening, everybody. Um, so my report, really not a lot new again, but I'd like to just touch on uh, water supply a little bit. Yes, we had please. a damaged dry hydrant up on uh, Hickok Road. Um, we've retained a contractor. We had some trouble finding material, but we did finally get that. Uh, I just received the call before you dig order on it and uh, contractor's ready to go as soon as he was just finishing up another project. Uh, so I'm hoping the next week or two that will be done. We did get our, uh, our two hydrants on Main Street that kind of connected the dots for in town. Uh, we got one right in front of the firehouse and then one on the corner of um, Main and Cherry Street on the uh, phone building side of that intersection. Um, 
also and the one in front of the firehouse doesn't interfere with uh our big rig swinging out does it it does not correct chief there are no complaints about it so and the hope was <laughs> so that, nobody uh, better hit it <laughs> no we had to order it for a couple of days but it did grow it did grow <laughs> yeah <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the hope was that uh, also that may prevent people from parking there. I uh, don't know if it will or not, but that was another hope. Um, also, Canaan Parish, they moved the drilling rig in yesterday. They began drilling today. I'm getting excited about that. The, they'll start blasting on Friday. Uh, between 10 and 11, they're going to do a test shot. I spoke with uh, Lieutenant Ferraro. He's going to help with traffic control. They're going to stop traffic on 123 and Lakeview uh, for each shot. They're anticipating about eight shots in total. So it'll be a pretty heavy blast because there's a lot of material to come up and they want to do it in eight shots. So they're going to drill for probably a couple of days and then blast and then move on. Um, and as Chief mentioned, we did have, uh, we had two investigations this month. One was uh, on Indian Waters Drive. It was a um, automatic, not an automatic, but a gas igniter and a wood fired um, fireplace. Um, the thought is that the gas was turned on. It was left on a little bit too long before a match was lit and the gas had leaked out into the living room caught a small table on fire, um, burned up a rug and a uh, couple of planks of the oak floor and uh, smoke damage through the first, second and third floors. Uh, then over on uh, in the Avalon apartments, we had a, a dryer fire. Um, the tenants had extinguished before after the arrival uh, damage was pretty much contained to the dryer and the contents of the dryer. Um, that is about it for new stuff. Uh, libraries progressing nicely. They've uh, they're about half done with the footings. So probably another week and a half on footings. They're starting the foundation on a portion of footings where they started, which is on the Cherry Street side. So yeah, things are moving. Excellent. I, if I could jump in, uh, Paul and I, and Paul took the lead on it. He's doing, um, he's made some contacts through the you know, highway and we're really trying to push the water supply um, trying to do a little more to get some water supply in our rural areas of town. So uh, more to come on that, but um, we're taking a different view on it, on how much money we're going to invest in that. So um, hopefully we'll get some positive results on that with his, uh, with his direction and leadership. That, that's good news. Thank, thank you, Chief, and thank you, Paul. Um, Fire Marshal Payne, are you finished with your report? I am, unless I have any questions. Unless you have any questions. No, I, th I think we're all good. Thank you. Is, there, there's some background noise. Does somebody have their radio on? That's uh, the radio in my office. I'll mute, Commissioner. Thank you, sir. Is there any old business before the commission? I hear none. So is there any new business before the commission that is not on the current agenda? I have one request and I'm, I believe that Councilman Mike Morrow is on the phone and if he's able to answer, um, Mike Morrow, uh, We'd like to know who the liaisons are 
uh, for the fire department, especially for the budget process. And we'd like to meet with them either in person or, or, or via Zoom. And we'd really, you know, like to meet with you, especially, and uh, go over the budget with you and get you to uh, know the new chief officer, et cetera, et cetera. So if you can answer now, great. And if you can't, send us a, uh, an email or a text after the meeting. We'd appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Mike, we can. Okay, uh, yeah, so it's me and Rita Bettino is the other liaison on uh, TC's Public Safety Committee. Uh, and I'll um, chat with uh, Rita about her availability. I don't, um, hopefully we can do it together. If not, um, I'll definitely make myself available very soon. I'll send you guys some proposed times to uh, meet. I mean, I would love to meet you guys in person unless you guys are uncomfortable with that. Um, you know, you know, hopefully we can work that out, but that would be yep. great. All That's right. great. Mike, we, we appreciate it and we uh, always appreciate your support and that's why we like working with you. So thank you. And we'll, we, we will uh, communicate uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, thank Excellent. you. Great, okay. Let's move on. The swearing in ceremony uh, obviously has been moved to February, hopefully. And we will have a number of people to swear in, including the chief and lieutenants and, uh, and a new firefighter. Uh, chief, could you please update us on, uh, you already updated us on the apparatus, uh, but could you update us on the rescue five, please? Progress. Uh, it was yes. in the it was in the paint booth um, the other day. So uh, they they were still painting it, uh, which delayed the radios going in. The radios were supposed to go in Monday, um, but that got pushed back because the truck wasn't out of the paint booth. So bodies on. They're mounting the tools that they're going to mount and being painted. Uh, no delivery date yet. So we're still working. Um, they're still working on it and didn't give me a firm date yet of, uh, of delivery. So maybe fingers crossed uh, first quarter of this year. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, I will that, cross my that, fingers. Uh, all right. We, we, we will, we won't hold you <coughs> nor Gowan's night to, to that. We under, we understand the circumstances, but we appreciate the update. Anything else on that? On the rescue, uh, no, no, up to, okay. no other updates on that. Uh, do we have all the new equipment that we need to load onto it? Most of the equipment is our current equipment. There are some minor stuff, some small stuff was bought for the rig itself, one being a, a winch. Uh, and otherwise there's not too many new tools going on that they're all getting transferred. So okay. we have all that. It's really just the mounting brackets for all of them. So it's done, it's done professionally. Excellent. Thank you. Um, but last real, uh, item here is the budget planning update. Uh, do we have any guidelines yet? Usually we receive them from the board of finance or something. And we, we all know we have an extraordinary circumstance with our new CBA, which, you know, that notwithstanding, have they given us any guidelines on what they want us to do? They have not published uh, any guidelines. I still go back to that first meeting uh, we had, I think it was a department head meeting that the first selectman and at the time Lunda said put in for, you know, ask for what you need. Um, and that, you know, and then we'll take it from there. That was basically their guidance with the, with the fast tracking going into, you know, we're about a month early, it looks like from last year. So that was pretty much the only guidance. We didn't get any numbers for top, you know, top end amounts or any cuts. So there was no guidance on any of that. Percentage okay. wise. Well, they've been, I mean, Josh has been handling the budgets. He's been very They've been very good, and you know, you saw one of the meetings, and they 
They've yes. gone through our lines and adjusted the lines as necessary, uh, even after that meeting that we uh, found some discrepancies in it. Thank you, sir. Uh, are there any other questions for the chief or any other questions or anything else to be brought before the commission at this point in time? I, I, I hear none. So the next regular meeting of the fire commission is February the 8th, 2022 at 7 p.m. We hope to do it at fire headquarters. If not, you'll know about it. It'll be done elsewhere on Zoom. Uh, in that case, I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn. Can I ask one question first? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Are we doing, um, I just wondered if you wanted to do any kind of reception for the swearing in. Are we doing it before the meeting or after the meeting or oh. as part of the meeting? Good, good question. If we, well, uh, I'm assuming... happy to make cookies. I'll volunteer. I can, work, I can work on that with Jill as well. Excellent. Um, I, I you all, you last... all are in charge. Okay, I think we did do that last time. Um, yeah, we, did. we did it before the meeting, but it was a seven thirty meeting. So maybe we want to do it after the meeting this time. I'm well, Commissioner I'm Jones. Commissioner Jones, you have volunteered yourself. I would love to work with Ms. Damon and and Bingo. whoever else wants to be involved and figure it out. No, and I'm sure Babs will, uh, you know, make a whole bunch of the cookie. So we'll uh, we won't lack. But thank you for volunteering. Very good. Perfect. Well, in that case, uh, I'd like to. Uh, Adjourn the meeting. So move. so move. Second. Unanimous. I'm going to stop the recording now. Thank you. Good night, Thank you, everybody. everybody. <laughs> Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Uh -huh.